Hello guys, GT Racing here and today I'm going to show you how you can set up your own dedicated server for Automobilista 2. Now this video is going to be split into two parts where in the beginning I'm going over the very basics of the server configuration while the second part will feature more advanced options. So first off you want to install the necessary packages by going to your Steam library and simply search for Automobilista. Now this should bring up the Automobilista 2 dedicated server tool which you want to click on and install. Now before you press next and install the package remember where you're going to install it. Now in my case it's G Steam. So I'm going to install it. Now as Steam has finished the installation I'm heading over to the recording folder. In my case under G Steam and I'm looking for the Steam apps folder and then go into common. And there it is, the Autoreleaser 2 dedicated server folder. Now, once you're in there, you want to create a new text document and name it server.cfg. So, new text document server.cfg. And this is your config for the server. Now, obviously, this config file as of now is empty. So, what you want to do is go to config samples, open the rotated events and just copy everything that's in there. So there you have it, you have now successfully configured your server. Ah, just kidding. So here we are now at the very top of our server configuration and basically everything you need to know for now is that every line that starts with a double slash is interpreted by the server as a comment and therefore basically ignored. And every other line, like for example the log level line here, is split into a left and a right part, where the left part is a server property and the right part is its value. Now, as there are quite a lot of these properties, I'm obviously not going to go over every single one of them, but only over the more important ones. The first one being the name of the server, which you can change to your likings. Now I'm going to go with... Uh, G2 Racing's cool server. Nice. Now you can also set a password, but I'm not going to do this in this video. So, a next option you want to look out for is located at the very bottom of the config file under a session attributes. Now, these properties here are basically the most relevant when it comes to actually configuring your server as they state stuff like the track, the cars, how many players are there, how long is the practice qualifying, the race and so on. So these properties here you can basically ignore, just leave them as they currently are and the next thing you want to look for is the grid size and the max players. Now this is your grid size, the total amount of cars on the grid and the maximum players is how many of those cars are allowed to be players. Now my grid size here currently is 30 and my maximum players is also 30. So if I'm changing the max player size to 20 for example, there is no space for 10 AI cars and the game also will add those 10 AI cars. So always make sure that grid size is always the same value as max players. Next on. You can set the practice length, the qualifying length and the race length and all you need to know here is the practice length and the qualifying length are in minutes and the race length is in laps. So for the flags here this is a bit more tricky as is stated here in the example. So you have different flags you can set like for example the auto start engine so that you don't manually need to start your engine and this flag has a value of 524,288 and basically every single one of those flags has a unique value and if you want to set flag you need to add the value of the flag as it is stated in this example here. Like for example if you want to allow ABS on your server you have a base value of 32. If you now also want to allow traction control you need to add 128 to your 32. Now, obviously these flags in this example are not all available ones, but worry not, there's a link 
in the description to a file where I've put together all possible flags for your server here and also all values for the stuff down here like the damage type, the tire wear type, the tracks, the vehicle class IDs and the models and so on. Basically everything you actually need to know to properly configure your server. Now if you only want your server to run one single track and loop over this track again then you just need to configure everything all the stuff that is down here and go up here and make a comment out of this line. However, and this is going to be the beginning of the second part of the video, if you want your server to run more than one track, you will need to re-enable this line again. What you also want to do is scroll up a bit and configure the HTTPI API. So first of you want to set its value to true to enable it. And what you want to do next is scroll to the HTTPI API users and create one additional user. So I'm going to name it test, like the left side is the name. And on the right side, that's his password. So test, test. Now, you also want to assign this user to at least one group. And to do this, you go to the HTTPI API groups and just create the group admin and add the user there and create the group private. And also add the user there. Now what this actually does will be covered later on in this video. For now we are going to focus more on the track rotation. So in order to run more than one track you want to go back to your AMS2 dedicated server folder. So if you are in here again you want to run your dedicated server once. Like just let it run through once as it will create some files like this for example that we need for our track rotation. Now you want to head into this folder and open the sms underscore rotate underscore config.json file. Now everything you see down here should look rather familiar to, to you already as it's the exact same stuff that you set earlier down here. But since we now have enabled the SMS rotate plugin early in the config. All values that are set here are going to override all values that you set earlier here. So basically this is now your new default configuration. Now things also get a bit more complicated in here as for example as you might have noticed already there isn't really a track set up here and that's because all values that you adjust here are basically imagined as a base configuration so to say and for every single track that you want to run on your server these values will apply but you have to set down here under the rotation category your vehicles and your track. Additionally you can also in every single one of your rotations override every option that was set up here. So let me explain it to you real quick. So for the first rotation there's a race on Interlagos in Brazil with the stock car V8s and with these settings up here. Now if you look into the second entry the cars are the sprint race cars and the track is still on a long circuit but the race length is now 8 laps instead of 10 laps because as I said earlier this setting here overrides this value, but only for this entry. So for example, if I want to do a 20 laps race now around, I don't know, the Red Bull Ring, I just copy the first entry, make a new rotation, set the track, keep the cars. No, actually I want to drive with the Formula 3 cars, so F3. And I want to drive for, I don't know, 
25 laps. Now let's get back to the very last thing which I will show to you in this video, which is the HTPI configuration. So for this, you want to run your server again, head to your internet browser, and type in localhost column 9000. Now there's a pop-up window which asks for a username and a password and if you think back a bit we created a user by the name of test with the password test. And now I'm successfully here in the admin console for hms 2 dedicated server as you can see here. It's actually my server I'm configuring live. Now to make live adjustments to a server you want to go to the session attributes category and have someone join the game. So I'll see you in a minute. So I'm here in AMS2 now and if I go onto the multiplayer I should be able to find my own server. Oh yeah, there it is already. So as I named it before, GD Racing School Server, I'm going to join it. And just as we configured it, it's running Interlagos at the moment with the stock car V8s. But now take a look what this does to the HTPI admin tool. So if I go into Firefox again and refresh, I am now able to change the server's properties from this very tool. So take a look now. Currently it's running uh, Interlagos, but I want to drive on, I don't know, Brands Hedge now with the um, GT5. And I also want to race to be 20 laps long. And I'm saving this stuff and I head back to the game. It has now also changed these properties. Now, this can not only be done for the current session, but also for the next one. Like if you head up here, you can set the next track with the next configuration you want to drive. And obviously, there are some more categories where you can adjust stuff more in detail. But I'm leaving this to you as this is really rather self explanatory. Like, you just need to switch stuff on or off, and if there are values to configure, they are already pre selected. Hello, guys! It's uh, me again! And I may or may not have forgotten a minor detail, I'd say. Namely, if you want to figure out all possible properties for your server and all possible flags that you configure for your server and what their values are, you can go to the HTPI panel again, log in, and manually add to the address slash API slash list, press enter, go to the response, and there you have it. There are, for example, let's go to the tracks, there are all known tracks, it's the description. Now, just open the list, go for example to zero, and there is its name and its value. Same goes for the vehicles and so on. Open the list, go to zero, there's a car, there's its value. So yeah, this is basically it for this video then. I hope you are from now on able to configure your own AMS2 server and are having fun with it. And if you actually could take something from this very video, you could consider subscribing to this channel for more sim racing and education content. And with that said, I'll catch you in the next one. Cheers guys!